Hi there, it's the Liquid Sports Ghana special interview with Black Star striker Abdul Majid Waris. Waris came to the scene 2014, scoring crucial goals as Ghana qualified for Brazil 2014. He continues to hog the limelight in France, in Turkey, he's been into Russia and quite a few places. We're honored to have him here today to talk to us, you know, after the end of the very busy schedule in Europe and also playing for the Black Stars. Waris, most welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you very much. So let's start off first, you know, reflecting upon the season just gone by. How was it like playing at, you know, Lorient in France? A very, you know, um, busy schedule. That's all. You also score so many goals. What are your reflections when you look back? Things went actually um, not too well, but for me personally, I did very well. But I, I always take um, team glory more important than my personal glory. I scored quite. Uh, I scored a few goals, very important goals as well, and then we were relegated. But I did really well, and then now I'm here on holidays. So. Of the goals you scored, which one easily comes to mind? Um, I think the one against Lyon. Um, it's like something like I haven't done for like something. It's been a long time I've scored a goal like that, so I was quite very happy to score such a goal. There's also been recent talk about the timing of the Afcon calf might be looking into it, discussing it, changing the timing. And I wonder how relieved you know you are to have had something of this nature. For me I think it's something very positive. If you look at most of the players, uh, most of most of the players who play in Europe, sometimes most of them do lose their position because of the timing of the AFCON. And then even most players most clubs in Europe, before they sign a player they try to find out about his nationality because no, I don't think any club would want to sign a best player, maybe pay a lot of money, and then in the middle of the season, he would just disappear and leave them for like maybe one month or something like that. Because um, every game is very important, and then so for them changing the time and then everything, I think it's going to be something very positive to African players and then um, to the teams as well. Going forward, um, you obviously are going into a new season. But it's not too clear whether you want to still play with Lorient or move to another side. What, how does the future look like? Um, for me, I definitely, um, for sure, I know I'm going to leave. And then um, I know there are lots of clubs, like talking to my um, club and then all that. But that's their work. So hopefully I see what happened. But I'm still like working very hard. And then um, I'm training and then um, I'm praying. Hopefully God will direct me to w place that I belong to, not place I want to go. So uh, I hope everything will go well. What will go into the decision, you know, joining a new club? Um, there are lots of things. Um, family, because I always believe making the decisions is not an individual thing. It's something that comes with the family. And then um, the playing aspect as well. And then... Um, the financial aspect as well because these are things that are also important so you look at all these kind of things and then you look at the development aspect as well and then you make your decision talk about family you recently got married congratulations oh thank you thank you and how is she doing yeah she's fine she's good she's good yeah i don't bring my <laughs> <laughs> 